everyone. Um, welcome to Hannah's Happy Space. A little bit of a different video today, not a podcast, but plenty of finished objects to share with you. Um, this is my autumn mantelpiece or, that I've been talking about during my um, podcasts. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have already seen a photo of this. And I did say that I would give you a little bit of a tour because you've seen some of the bits. If you've watched the podcast, you'll have seen some of the bits before. Um, some of them weren't finished and some of them are new. So I thought I'd just give you a little tour and um, show you what we've got. So if I go a little bit closer and we'll start at one end, make our way to the other. So first of all, we've got some pumpkins. These are, well, this one, sorry, is a shop bought pumpkin. This one here with the nobbles and bobbles is a free pattern from Curious Papaya. All the patterns that I talk about, I will leave in the description in the box and link everything that I can. So yeah, this one is um, crocheted. The main part is crocheted using a double knit hand dyed from Rainbow Fusions. I'm not 100% sure of the colorway and I think I might have got rid of the ball band but yeah that's a um, Rainbow Fusions and it was a 50 gram hank and I've still got quite a bit left so didn't take a huge amount then the little curly bits are mm, these are all um, Stylecraft special double knit so pink and orange and a black for the stalk Next is a little fabric pumpkin that I made. I found a little YouTube tutorial through Pinterest for that one. So that was just using some scrap fabric from my stash. We've got a couple of these little um, toadstools along. All of them have been made using a pattern from Kate Eastwood, who is just poodling on Instagram. And they are from her wreath, crocheted wreath book. Um, and I've just crocheted them using different types of cotton and various thicknesses so they're different sizes. Uh, this is Otterline the Otter. You might have seen her before on my podcast. She is a design from Cool Crafting, so the creator of Luna Lapa. We move across. We've got lots of these, whoop, these little wooden peggy dolls these are all hand painted the majority yeah the ones we've got at the moment are halloween and autumn themed they are by a lady called zara who is hippie bow on instagram so we've got little bats hocus pocus one of my favorite films um yeah and there's a few more so i'll point them out as we go the next crochet item we've got is this witch here with her bubbling cauldron. This pattern is called Xenia the Witch. Now I'm going to try and pronounce the designer's name. I Like I say, we'll put all the details in. This is by two designers. One is called Granny's Hook Crochet and the other is Guilami, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Sorry if I've pronounced that incorrectly. This um, was a pattern that was released through amigurumi.com and was an Ami along for this month. You could be, you know, join in with the crochet along and be in for prizes and that kind of thing. I didn't do that. I just um, made her, just let you see her hat comes off. Now, She's got her lovely striped tights and her dress is covered in pumpkins. Now, <laughs> we have not named our witch Xenia. I showed this one to <laughs> Sebi when it was, before it was finished, when she had her pumpkin dress. And he went, oh, it's Davina. So Davina from Little Workroom Crafts. We have affectionately named our little witch after you because she loves pumpkins. She's a happy witch. She's lovely. Um, and like you she loves pumpkins so that's what Sebi says we should call her. She has been crocheted using um, Hipia's Katona in various colours apart from um, her skin tone. I didn't have one of those, it's all from Stash. Um, I didn't have that in the Katona so that is 
Um, what is that? Rikurumi, which is a little bit thicker, but it works fine. Um, and she's been crocheted on a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. Very happy with her. Now we move along. Um, so we've got another toad stool. Where's my finger? There we go. Another toad stool. Some more peggies. This one's got a little pumpkin on. Then we get over to some of my cross stitches. So we saw these in the podcast last time. So I'll just quickly tell you what those are. So the blackbird, we've got the blackbird and acorn. This is what the pattern's called. And that is from Plum Street Samplers and has been crocheted using classic Colourworks threads. And that's on a 14 count natural aider. I'm just made into a little cushion. We move over, we've got hair and acorns this is a pattern from wanderling stitches i have done her patterns before there in the summer i had a very similar design but with strawberries um and there are some winter designs i've got my eye on the mistletoe one i think but she's got a few so i'll have to have another little look in front of the clock here are some little frogs i have made these before you might have seen on here before these little frogs are pattern is a pattern from Dot Pebbles. I'm sure if you're on Instagram, you'll have seen these guys absolutely everywhere. Um, the sweater pattern is also by the same designer. So this frog here, actually uh, both frogs are knitted using um, a double knit yarn that I dyed myself. Um, and then the jumpers have been knit using Stylecraft Special DK. Then I have duplicate stitched on pumpkin on one and a toadstool on the other. So there are a little pair of frogs. Then we've got this little guy who is absolutely tiny. He's probably just over an inch tall. He's been crocheted using a little bit of sparkly white double knit I had in stash. And he is called Howl the Ghost and he is a free pattern. I found it through Pinterest, but there's a YouTube and a blog post for him. And he is from a designer called Cafe Del Craft. Now, we've named this little guy Pat. Um, we watch the BBC sitcom Ghosts, and Pat is my favourite ghost from there. And this little guy um, moves around the mantelpiece every day. I have to hide him in a new spot for Sebby to uh, hunt him out, find him, and he'll do the same for me. So... He will be moved from that position later on. We move over to the next little bit of cross stitch. So here we've got a uh, pumpkin by Ludicrous Threads. That one has been stitched on a 14 count white aider using DMC threads from Stash. And then some uh, Lewis and Irene Bumbleberries fabric added to make a cushion. Another toadstool, some more peggies, stay weird quite odd in this family i think <laughs> is it is uh fair to say little um toadstool with a spider then we've got this cross stitch which is a little autumn acorn and that one is from mama witch cross mama witch cross stitch not crochet um yeah and that one's uh, again on 14 count ada but a black ada this time and a little bit of patchwork to make it into a cushion then we've got, oh, it's Heckle, that was it, Heckle the Crow. And I've showed this one. I don't think he was finished when I last showed you. He, he is a pattern from Sarah D Crochet. Again, another free pattern. And he has been crocheted using various um, double knit acrylics from Stash. More Peggies, Ghosty Pumpkins. And what's the next? Um, my little mushroom felt mushroom house. Uh, this was inspired by a design I saw on Pinterest, couldn't find a pattern for, so decided to have a go at making my own. That's that one. We've got another design from Cool Crafting that's Rowan the Squirrel. I was hoping to get them some clothes, it hasn't happened. Um, they are normally out all year round so maybe they'll get some scarves or something for winter you never know <laughs> um what have we got next so this uh felt embroidery i just moved that quickly felt embroidery um cara made this 
This is a design that was a kit from Corinne Lapierre. So it's a wool felt embroidery. So that's that one. Pop that back without knocking everything over. This little um, tree stump, it's got a little um, snail and leaves and toastals on. I made a couple of years back when Jeanette from Crafty Collects Creations and Dawn from the Woven Almanac did a make along called Enchanted Forest um, and I found that one out perfect to put my little acorn house on so I've shown you this in the podcast before not sure again I don't think it was all put together so I'll try and get a decent ish angle <laughs> there we go um, that is a pattern from Gypsy Queen again all the patterns will go down in the description bar and the pattern is actually written for an a worsted weight yarn, I think, or an Aran weight yarn. I have done mine in uh, Shepier's Katona, so more of a... I'm not 100% sure if that's a four-ply or a double knit, but if it's a double knit, it's a very fine double knit. Um, so, yeah, that's that little house. Then we have got my free motion garland. I think... I, yeah, I showed you one of these on my last podcast, which was one that I made for my mum that was slightly shorter. So our mantelpiece is longer, so we've got a few more pieces. Um, these are all my designs, hand-drawn. And then fabric, transferred onto fabric and cut out. And free motioned over, and I've got some little lights in amongst there this guy here just lounging is um hugo the frog and he is a pattern from my crochet wonders there's minecraft lego corner in the background um and then at the bottom of my mat of our mantelpiece we've got another Design from Cool Crafting, which is Wilhelmina Woodmouse. Then we've got a stack of pumpkins. That's another one that Kara's made. Um, that's my sister, for those of you who don't know. Uh, these three pumpkins have been made using two strands of double knit held together. Really simple. Um, I think there's lots of free patterns out there for those. They are basically a crocheted rectangle, gathered at both ends and stuffed. And then we've stacked them up um, and then we've got some little uh, ceramic, that's the word, <laughs> ceramic pumpkins bought from a um, fair few different shops, B&M I think some of them came from. And then my Laurie Holt Granny Square cross stitch. That one stays out most of the time. So that is everything. I'll just move you back slowly obviously we've got <laughs> lots of other things we've got a small boy at home so there's games and toys and all sorts of things all around but we are all very pleased with our autumn decorations we didn't have lights on it to start with but we felt that it needed a little bit a little bit more especially in the evenings when it looks a bit dark just to make us all feel nice and cozy so that is everything uh yeah just double checking yeah so thank you very much for watching i hope you uh like what you've seen maybe a little bit of inspiration for your own homes or some new designers to go and check out <sighs> okay so thanks for watching everybody and i'll see you all again uh for another podcast soon thanks everyone bye